Okay, so I wanted to make a smart wrap, but I didn't want to buy these end corner pieces online. So we just uh, designed these in OpenSCAD. That'll be in the source files. You can check it out and change it. What these do is if you tap the ends of these with the M6, then you can use these to connect them. The only catch is you absolutely have to use the M6 flatheads. Uh, it all depends how long will depend on how deep you can tap it with your tap. But these are M6 25 millimeter screws and they seem to work pretty good and they actually give a really rigid result. So I saved the last one to kind of show you guys. Um, my printer is printing a little bit rich right now and that means that these holes are a little too small so you're gonna see me kind of power through them a bit. So you wanna turn the outside holes, turn these big holes to the outside, the small ones to the inside of the printer. So I'm gonna start off by sinking this in. Again, I'm gonna have to really because mine has a little bit, it's a little bit off. So you can feel it kind of trying to force its way through there. You really have to make sure that that screw gets deep because it can't be, if it's not flat, it's going to obstruct it with the other one when I screw it down. So there's that one. And then we just do something similar. up here, so I'm going to put in the other post that matches that, and again, I'm, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised at how rigid this design turns out to be. So we'll take this and just kind of... And these are printed with uh, some PLA. extra twist to make sure it's settled down deep enough because again if it's not screwed in all the way every bit of it it's going to obstruct the next screw that's going in that same joint so I'm going to put the last piece in on this one and I may have to move the camera up a little bit no we should be able to get it there for you to see and I'll put this last piece in you can see as you do it this one this other piece hasn't been attached so it's kind of moving about on me but I want to do all three of this joint at once. Normally I'd probably secure those other ones first, but, oops, didn't get that lined up. But again, it's kind of a cheap alternative because when I saw the connectors that Serge was using for SmartWrap Core Alu, uh, I wasn't sure, at least I didn't find any, I couldn't find any of these on the internet to buy. So I just decided to make some. I'm sure there's a million sources for them, but I just wanted to make my own. So there we have a one completed joint. Now you can see I need to secure the other side so it's moving around. But really, like I said, I'm very pleasantly surprised at how rigid the frame is with just these little homemade connectors and this uh, these aluminum extrusions.